Today I'll be using something a little out of season. Um, a lot of people have already started using their Christmas heat since, since it's November, but I don't like doing that. Uh, I usually just wait till December after Thanksgiving. But since it's gone on sale in the past week, I figured I would uh, go ahead and film this and get it out there to help them uh, spread the word. And it is uh, <clears throat> something I've had for about a year now. It's a, a pretty substantial sample, as you can see of Cooper and French's Santa's workshop. I don't know if you can actually see that. Let me adjust the, uh... there we go. Now you can see it without the overexposure. Cooper and French's Santa's workshop. Um, it's an incredible scent. I can't wait to get into it, but it's a sample. And today I'll be uh, not face lathering since it's a sample. Now there are ways to face lather with a sample. You take out just a, do a dollop of it and just push that sample into the bowl and load, load your brush accordingly until you get, you know, load as normal as you would, like you would out of a container. Then I'm gonna bowl lather, which is not something I think I've done on the channel before. So I was just gonna go through the process a little bit in case you don't know how to bowl lather or how to use a sample. Um, I've already opened the sample and I took, used my thumb to take it out. Now typically Cooper and French's soap is very firm and it lasts a while, but this was, maybe it's this particular batch, maybe it's because I removed it for a sample. It's pretty soft. It's like mid saw, mid firm, so it was really easy to remove. And what I did for a bowl lather is I just smeared it all through this bowl. And this is just like a sirabachi, like a plastic sirabachi type um, soup bowl I got from an Asian restaurant. I kept it because of all the grooves in it. It helps to agitate the lather and all that. So we're just gonna get that started here and uh, I'll be right back after I wet my brush and we'll get going with the lather and apply it to the face. And the scent is incredible. It's, it's as far as like the Santa type scents that I've tried, this is the best. Um, I have a two ounce container of the artist's soap shops, Santa's pipe, and it does have a similar note in here, like a cherry type note, but um, it's a lot different. It's a white chocolatey, smoky scent. This is a, this is a scent that is quite strong. It's about a seven. I think it opens up to about a seven and a half, so it's upper mid strength. Borderline on strong. Actually, it, I think this goes up to an eight. So it goes from a higher mid strong to strong upon lathered. But the scent on this, um, the scent notes, if I can remember them, are damask rose, geranium, and sweet orange honey. Those are the top notes, and the bottom notes, what I mostly smell, are patchouli smoky vanilla and a honey to pipe tobacco and if you know me or watch my all my videos in the past i really like to pipe tobacco scents um i've got a few it then i've never gotten rid of one I, rock, I like them a lot um uncle john's pipe smoke which i've never reviewed on here i need to do that it's one of my favorite scents if not my favorite it's at least tied for several bears to man scents that i like a lot but, um, I don't, the scent is so well blended, I don't, I, I get the smoky vanilla and the pipe tobacco. Everything else is so well blended that it, it almost smells like cherry to me. Like I don't smell orange in here, like it says. But, this smells like a cherry vanilla to pipe tobacco to me. It's very different from Uncle John's. Um, and there's, Further scents out there, like the, the artisan soap shop, um, Santa's pipe is way different than this. It's far different. It's white chocolate and cherry wood smoke and pipe smoke. Um, Silisky Soaps has a pipe, a Santa's pipe scent out there. And it is, it sounds a little similar to this one, but um, I've not tried it. But if you're in the, if you're in the, uh, market for a bunch of uh, similar scents like this one, then you might want to check that one out too. I'm interested in it for sure. All right, um, in case you were wondering, this is my Mercury 23C handle with my uh, Gillette Travel Tech head, the Astro Green Blade. And I'm gonna go do one little cleanup pass on my neck here. And uh, 
Reason for that is because this is a little more aggressive than the normal Gillette Tech that I normally the uh, Gillette Tech that I normally use, and uh, so I don't um, go as many uh, times over it do full passes like I do that one, except up here. But if you've never used if you've never used Cooper and France, they are no skimp on performance at all. Um, they hit all the marks. They excel in them and on a, I would call a very good level. A couple of, two years ago they probably were elite, or close to elite. Um, a lot of soap makers have made strides since then, and so it would fall below that. I'd still put it like in the eight category though. They're very good. Um, I get great shades from them. I love, one of my favorite scents, a couple of my favorite scents actually, I like Feral Arbor, but Sandalwood and Amber, I've reviewed that one on here before, and I really like yeah, that one. Um, great shades from it. I would I've tried their goat milk, Form goat milk and tallow formula before, and it's very, very good. It's actually their best base, but they don't make it very much if at all anymore. This is their normal tallow base, and it is no skimp. I like it a lot, and at one point it was in my top 10, if that tells you anything. It's since slid down there, but it's still in my top 20. I like it very much. Um, my shades are, I normally, I like face lathering, so my the shave I get today is probably not gonna be quite as good as um, I would if I face lathered it, but I had a little choice since it was a sample. But um, I'm just not a very good bowl lather. Um, I can show you how to lather it, but I tend to use too much soap and then or overwater it. So I don't. Di I just had trouble dialing it in. So um, don't take that against them. If that's a, a user issue. So right, there was for my last cleanup pass here. There was still some soap. I rinsed the bowl out and I was like, well, you know, I still got some uh, leftovers here on my cheeks. There's still some soap left in the brush. I hadn't turned the suds yet, so I just went ahead and face lathered it. As you can see, it looks a lot different. Maybe it doesn't on my camera. I don't know. It's a lot shinier, and uh, resembles more a Cool Whip rather than the meringue that it looked like earlier. But this is an iPhone with a camera app, and I don't know if you can even tell that or not. Um, I'd like to get a different, a better camera, or find a way to maximize my iPhone. I'm sure there's ways to do that, but you just have to take my word for it. It's a lot better, more shiny, more peaky. So properly dialed in, it's going to be a lot more uh, to discerning shavers liking. But um, I just don't like bull lathering. Just can't do it. Well, I was going to use uh, since they don't make after shave. Cooper and French does not make after shave splashes. They make uh, shave soap, um, post shave balm. I do believe they make uh, bath soap now. I'm not 100 percent sure. Um, but I was going to use Holly Berry, but it's not really that great of a match. I mean, it is a Christmas scent. It's a great smelling Christmas scent. But instead, I think I'm going to use the aforementioned Uncle John's Pipe Smoke. It smells similar enough to where this would be a pretty good match. And one of my favorite scents. And I'm going to a dinner at a friend's house. I don't know if I would uh, want to smell like a Christmas tree this, this early in the year. So I'm just one of those people that doesn't like to see Christmas stuff up before Thanksgiving. It's flipping mid-November. I mean, Thanksgiving isn't the day that sells stuff. It's the day after. So they want to get all their retail commercialism out there and all of that. Not a big fan of that, to be honest. But, but this is a good shave. I really liked it. It is on sale now for a limited time. Don't know how for much longer. Um, I don't know if it's just just a certain amount that it sells out and it's gone, or if he's just going to make it through December. Um, but it is a yearly limited release, so get it while you can. Santa's Workshop by Cooper and French. Can't go wrong if you like um, pipe smoke scents. And uh, yeah, I love it. I'm really, I'm tempted to get a um, jar. You can get three ounce jars and six ounce jars. I think the three ounce jars are about 14 bucks in the, or 13 or 14 bucks in the, Five or six ounce jars are, I think, eighteen ninety nine. Very good deal. Uh, can't go wrong. Check them out on their website. I'll link below. Um, as always, if you like the video, please comment or like and subscribe if you have not. And I will see you next time.